Recently, I published an article on Simple Money called Make Your Coffee at Home and 50 Other Simple Habits to Save Money. Most people had kind words to say about the list of 50 simple habits to save money, but others offered criticism. The critical and negative comments didn't surprise me. I've been writing on the internet long enough to know how people respond to certain phrases. And make your coffee at home to save money is definitely one of them. The advice to make your own coffee is often dismissed as trivial or simple or downright insulting. Here's what one commenter posted on the article. Oh wow, you can make coffee at home? Who knew? Thanks for the great advice. I know that deciding to make coffee at home in the grand scheme of things probably isn't going to change your entire financial outlook. Because let's face it, how much does skipping that cup of coffee actually save? Most estimates put the number somewhere less than $2 a day, or maybe as high as even $1,000 a year if you're buying something fancy every time you go to Starbucks. That being said, despite the dollar amount savings, I will continue to offer this advice. And here's why. Making your coffee at home is about more than the couple dollars you save every day. Making your coffee at home is about recognizing and leaning into the mindset that is required to make the necessary positive changes in your life. It's about more than the dollars. It's about embracing a new worldview concerning life and money. As an example, consider what the commitment to making coffee at home displays. It shows a willingness to be inconvenienced. Brewing your coffee at home may seem less convenient than grabbing a cup on the go, but it shows that you're willing to put in the effort and work to save and get ahead financially. It displays choosing simplicity over luxury. Homebrewed coffee may not always taste as amazing as the fancy latte from your local cafe, but it can still be enjoyed. And it signifies that you can keep your tastes simple, especially when you're focused on financial wellness over fleeting pleasure. It represents embracing change in your routine for financial benefits. Deciding to make your coffee at home requires an intentional shift in your daily routine. It demonstrates and communicates every morning your desire to make sacrifices and embrace changes to improve your financial situation, whatever it takes. It's an outward example of choosing faithfulness in the smallest of things. Brewing your own coffee is a small thing and might save you only a couple dollars a day, but in some ways, that's the point. Paying attention to even the smallest expenses shows you're intentional with your money. And when we are faithful in the little things, we cultivate the habit to be faithful in larger matters. It's a rejection of status symbols. Carrying your own coffee in a thermos to work might lack the prestige of walking in with a Starbucks cup every day, but that shows that you're not driven by status symbols. You value your financial health over external appearances. It's an example of breaking autopilot spending habits. Buying coffee daily is often an automatic action. By choosing to make coffee at home, you're intentionally disrupting autopilot spending, showing a commitment to control your money instead of letting it control you. Also, it shows a shift in not needing to buy things to enjoy yourself. Enjoying a cup of self-made coffee can bring a simple joy to your day that is not tied to a purchase. It underscores that experiences and contentment don't have to be bought. They can be brewed at home. Brewing coffee at home represents patience and discipline. Saving a few dollars a day might not seem significant, but over time, they add up. This act reflects patience and discipline in your approach to personal finance. Recognizing that the light at the end of the tunnel might be a long way off, but you'll only get there if you keep moving forward. 
and it shows a commitment to creating and staying within boundaries. Choosing to make coffee at home is an arbitrary decision that you make for yourself. No one but you knows about it, and you are the only one holding yourself accountable to that commitment. Essentially, you are setting a personal boundary against impulsive or convenience based spending. Staying within it proves your self discipline. Brewing your coffee at home may seem trivial when looked at in isolation, but it is, to me, a powerful symbol of a broader mindset change. Those who cast shade on the suggestion miss the entire picture. It's about more than just saving a couple dollars. It's about a shift in perspective that can move your financial journey towards success. Of course, there are other small financial habits that we can adopt to bring about changes in our financial circumstances. I don't mean to pick on only coffee drinkers in this video, so apply the principle as you see fit. But to anyone who is striving to get out of debt, save more, give more, or improve your financial situation, remember this. It is almost always the small, intentional, and consistent steps that lead to significant change. Might I suggest you start by brewing your coffee at home? Because making your coffee at home is about more than saving a few dollars. It's about embracing a mindset that can radically transform your financial future. And before I end, let me just say, every interaction from you is a gift to me, and I'm deeply grateful for it. If this message resonated with you, please share it, like it, or leave your thoughts below. It absolutely helps. And of course, the best way to stay connected with me is by subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks for being here today.